Hi friends! It's me, Miss Erin, from C.C. Meller Memorial Library. I'm here to share another story time with you today. So today, I thought we could read some books about pets. Should we get started? Let's take our wiggle wiggle fingers way up in the sky. Wiggle wiggle fingers, wave them all bye bye. Wiggle wiggle fingers, fold them in a ball, throw them in your lap, and do not let them fall. All right, our first book is called Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike, and it's by Cynthia Ryland. Do you see what kind of animal Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike are? They're fish. Penny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike by Cynthia Ryland. Penny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike are five fish who met at the fish store. They are fab friends. A little girl brought them home and plopped them in the tank. Plop! Fab. The fish tank is like heaven. Henny loves the orange gravel. Penny loves the diver. Lenny loves the rock. Denny loves the pirate ship. And Mike loves the bubbles. Nobody loves the snail, but that's okay. This is fish tank life. Swim, 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 swim. Go, 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 go. Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike think that being a fish is so fab. They smack kisses to the little girl every day. There is only one day when fish tank life is not so fab. It is... Clean the fish tank day! They get unceremoniously plopped into a bowl! A bowl! Then the little girl makes the orange gravel, the diver, the pirate ship, the rock, and the whole big fish tank just sparkle. Wow! Everything is so crisp. The diver is impeccable. The ship is ship shape. But alas, the snail is still ignored. Can fish take life be any more perfect than this? Why, yes, because... Plop! Ta-da! Well, hello, clownfish. The clownfish is such a clown. He starts telling joke after joke, and Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike laugh so hard their, buzzles fi their bubbles fizz up the whole tank. But wait, there's more. Plop! An angelfish. Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike stop yucking it up, and they just stare. She is so beautiful. But wait, there's more. Glunk. It's a fairy castle. Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike forget all about clowns and angels. They are all about the fairy castle. It is enchanting. It is ornamental. It is exotic. It is a trap! Help! Lenny is stuck! Oh no, says Henny, Penny, Denny, and Mike. What to do? The clownfish tries to lighten the mood with a joke. The angelfish begins to pray. Yet nothing unsticks Lenny. But wait! What's this? 
Did you remember about him? It is a snail! A snail on a mission! The quick-thinking snail, who everyone had ignored, slides right up to Lenny and with one fell suck, pop! Lenny is unstuck! The tank explodes into cheers! Henny, Penny, Lenny, Denny, and Mike smack kisses all over the snail. The clownfish yucks it up. The angelfish sings hallelujah. And fish tank life returns to what it always was. So fab. And that's the end. Should we do a song together now? Look who I have here. I have a dog. And our dog's name is Bingo. Do you see the letters here? B, I, N, G, O. Let's sing it together. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B, I, N, G, O. B, I, N, G, O. B, I, N, G, O. And Bingo was his name. Oh. Now what happens if we cover up the B? There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh. I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name -o. This time, let's cover up the I. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name -o. N -G -O. N -G -O. N-G-O, and Bingo was his name -o. Now, let's cover up letter N. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name -o. G -O. G -O. G -O and Bingo was his name -o. Next, let's cover up letter G. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name -o. O. O. O and Bingo was his name -o. Wait a minute. If we cover up letter O, there's going to be no letters left. Let's sing it. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name -o. And Bingo was his name -o. Yay! Good work! All right, let's look at one more story together before we go. This story is also about dogs. It's called Please Puppy Please by Spike Lee and Tanya Lewis Lee. Please Puppy Please. Stay inside today, puppy, puppy, please, puppy. Outside? Let's go play. Puppy, 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 please. Away from the gate. Puppy, puppy, please, puppy. Oh no, what's happening? Oh wait, puppy, wait. Please, 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 please. Come back here. Don't go. Puppy, puppy, please, puppy. Not the mud, puppy. Oh, no. Puppy. 
puppy, 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 please. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub. please, please, puppy, puppy. Get back in the tub, puppy, 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 please. Watch out for the cat. Puppy, please, puppy, please. Oh no, don't do that. Puppy, puppy, please, puppy. Oof. Fetch me the ball. Puppy, 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 please. Come when I call. Puppy, please, 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 please. Look, the puppy came. You're doing just fine, puppy, 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 puppy. Always be mine. Puppy, please, puppy, please. And that's the end. Thanks for coming to story time with me today, friends. I'll see you next week. Bye.